Cancer metastasis has three subtypes. One is the HER2 positive metastasis, second is ER positive, and or PR positive metastasis, third is triple negative breast cancer metastasis. Let's decipher the molecular mechanism behind each one of them. Let's start with the HER2 positive metastasis. So now you're probably asking yourself what is HER2 and what is the significance of being positive or negative. Every cell in our body has something called growth factor receptor. HER2 is a growth factor receptor. It means it receives the growth signals from the environment. So when this receptor binds with its ligand, which is the growth factor in this case, it will send the signals through the cell in order to stimulate the growth. And the growth in the cell is equivalent to the division or the increase in number of cells. And then you will ask yourself again, is every cell that has a HER2 growth factor receptor is called HER2 positive? And the answer is absolutely no. The answer is that the only cells we can call a HER2 positive cells, those cells that undergo certain type of mutations that led to the amplification of this receptor. This amplification of those receptors will lead to an increase, abnormal increase in the growth signals that will lead to increase in cell division and forming tumor. The most common site at which the HER2 cells metastasize is the liver. The current treatment for the HER2 positive cells in general is the antibody that blocks HER2 receptor called trastuzumab. As you can see, its name ends with AB as an abbreviation of antibody. It blocks the growth factor receptor interaction and blocks the flow of growth signals. However, some HER2 positive cancer cells can escape from this treatment to the brain because those antibodies cannot pass through the membrane of the brain. So the treatment of this problem or the solution or even sometimes the prevention is the implementation of a drug called lapatinib and IB is an abbreviation for inhibitor. It's a, a small chemical compound that binds to the intracellular domain of the HER2 let's see on the left, that will uh, result in the inhibition of the growth signals and the shrinkage or prevention of the tumor at the brain. Congratulations, you finished the first subtype. Are you tired? Not yet? Wow, that's great. If you wanted to know more in Cancer Basics, I will upload a course soon this year, so hit the bell icon to be notified. Now let's move to the second subtype of breast cancer metastasis, which is ER positive and or PR positive. So what is ER? It's the abbreviation of estrogen receptor. Estrogen receptor is not a growth factor this time. It's a nuclear receptor. However, it activates the cell cycle division. Uh, as a same case for progesterone receptor, uh, it's a nuclear receptor and progesterone is also a hormone. Both receptors are intracellular or nuclear receptor because progesterone and estrogen are hormones that can pass readily through the membrane. They can drive the growth. So now you are probably asking yourself, what does it mean being ER positive? Was there any amplification of those receptors? The answer is no, or maybe not in all cases. But here ER refers to the presence of ER, even it was only 1%. Same case applies for PR. And then regarding the organ, the most frequent metastases are found in the bones. Overall treatment for ER positive, PR positive cells, or we can say as an abbreviation, hormone receptor positive. First one is aromatase inhibitor. It blocks the formation of estrogen and it is also called hormonal therapy, HT. The second treatment is tamoxifen, which is also one of the hormonal therapies that blocks the binding between the estrogen and the estrogen receptor. Third type of treatment is chemotherapy. The types of ER positive uh, can breast cancer cells are luminal A and luminal B. Luminal A is characterized with PR positive and better prognosis. Luminal B is characterized with, with low PR expression, less than 10% or PR negative. That signifies the complete absence of the PR. Now let's move on to the third subtype, which is triple negative breast cancer. It consists of HER2 negative, PR negative, ER negative. This means that there is no amplification in the HER2. There is an absence of ER and absence of PR. Why it's called triple? Because ER is the first negative, PR second negative. HER2 is the third negative, so it's school triple negative as an abbreviation and it's one of the most invasive types the most common site in which triple negative uh, metastasize is the lungs it has something called hemato preference this means that it has low frequency of axillary node dissemination the treatments for this type of cancer are first the chemotherapy second the PARP inhibitor or the BRCA mutated uh, breast cancers the PARP inhibitor which is used specifically for breast cancers that harbor a BRCA mutation so then you are asking yourself again, what is a BRCA gene or what the, what is the significance of its mutation? Okay, BRCA gene is responsible for the repairing of double-stranded break, DNA break. If it got mutated, it will not be able to do its job. So if a cancer or breast cancer has a BRCA mutated gene, it has a deficiency in the double-stranded DNA break repair. Another gene, which is a PARP, is responsible for repairing the single-stranded DNA damage. So the inhibitor of PARP inhibits this process. Okay, and then if we have a cancer cell, it has a deficient BRCA, it has an inhibited PARP, then it will die because it has less than needed amount of DNA repair. 
on the other side the normal cell has a well-functioning BRCA but when its PARP is inhibited the cell still survive because it still have a functioning repairing enzyme which is the BRCA this concept of treatment is called synthetic lethality another type of treatment that still is an ongoing uh, trial which is based on the immune checkpoint we all know that immune checkpoint is something that is expressed on the surface of cancer cell that inhibits the function of the immune cell we can consider it as an escape mechanism that was abused by the cancer cell so an antibody that can uh, inhibit this interaction will cause the reactivation of the immune cells and leading to the destruction of the cancer cell the ongoing trial is a combination between an inhibitor that can increase the immune reaction against the cancer and the PARP inhibitors that increase the new antigens because PARP as we know uh, increase single-stranded uh, mutations or breaks which will lead to increased mutations those increased mutations will lead to mutated proteins that will be processed by MHC uh, immunology course and be presented as new antigen or different antigen that will trigger all mutations and finally if you are interested in cancer biology subscribe to this channel and who knows you can be the one who will beat the cancer